experience na baka na nawala ka sa imuhang padulungan pero gitabangan ka sa ginoo. Yeah, there are so many times nga experience na ko. Naka nang feeling nga ikaw ra isa, walay ginoo nagtabang sa imo that there is no one that you can lean upon. There is no one that you can ask for help. Kaya nang feeling ni mo nga everything ends like wala na kay lain mabuhat pa sa imong life. Uh, I even tried um, pushing away God from my life, not believing in Him sa mga plano sa kinabuhi. And, but I am so thankful that there are so many instances in my life that God really uh, uh, reach out to bring me back to the path that He wants me to walk on. And uh, I was, there was really even a time uh, I was mad at Him. Pero God is very kind and loving. He is just and He is so forgiveful. And even though sa akong namugdagan sila, I mean, even though I did not believe on Him, even though now, ako na siya ikalimitan, ako na siya ipalaya sa akong life, He still care for me and love me despite of all. What are the instances na ibalik ka sa ginyo? So, the instance that really helped me to be, to go back to God is the help of the sacrament, the sacrament of reconciliation. Uh, in this sacrament, I was given a chance to give back my life to God, to reconcile with Him, to reconcile with others, to reconcile with myself. So, with the help of this sacrament, I was um, naka, naka story ako sa kong ipang bati sa gino, all my doubts, of my, all of my anger, all of my confusions, and all of my sins sa iya sa other people and the most important thing is I learned how to forgive because if God can forgive why can't we? So nowadays uh, we can observe that ang mga kabatang unan kay are living not in accordance the will of God or Ang bali ka kahadlok, nabalik, o mulive in a way sa gusto sa ginawa. So, the only thing that I could tell them is don't be afraid to reconcile with God. No matter how big are your problems, no matter how big are your hatred, or how deep are your grudges to someone, or how big are your sins, God is always willing to accept you, no matter who you are, no matter what you did. And, uh, Always remember that um, God loves you and He is welcome to accept and reconcile with you. It is also very important that you're going to surround yourself with people who are willing to help you, who can bring you closer to God, and those people na will remind you of the love and kindness of God. You are the word at the beginning, one with God, the Lord most high. Your hidden glory in creation, now revealed in you, our Christ. What a beautiful name.